In this video, I will explain how to increase the speed of the YOLO V8 model using Tensor RT. What is Tensor RT? Tensor RT or Tensor Runtime is a software developed by NVIDIA that is specifically designed to speed up inference in deep learning models. Tensor RT is specifically optimized for running neural network models on NVIDIA GPU devices and aims to provide high performance with low latency. I will use Google Collab to install and use TensorRT to increase the speed of the YOLO V8 model. I have provided a Google Collab notebook. The notebook can be downloaded at the following link or in the resource section. This is a YOLO V8 TensorRT notebook. Download the notebook. Right click then click download. In this example, the downloaded notebook will be saved in the Downloads folder. Next, open Google Collab by visiting the URL in the browser. Then click the Upload button. Upload the notebook that you previously downloaded. Click Choose File. Go to the folder where the file is saved. In this example in Downloads folder, click the file. After that, click the Open button. Wait until the upload is finished. When finished, it will look like this. After that, click Edit Notebook Settings. In Hardware Accelerator, make sure the GPU is selected. Click Save. After that, click this button to connect to a new runtime. Wait until the connection process is finished. When finished, it will look like this. After that, go to the initial code cell. This code cell is used to mount Google Drive. First, from google.conlab, import drive using this code. Then, mount Google Drive using drive.mount function with the argument slash content slash gdrive. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Click Connect to Google Drive. Choose your Google Drive account. Scroll down and click the Allow button. If it looks like this, the mount process was successful. Continue to the next cell. This cell is used to enter my drive. First, import OS using this code. Then, go to my drive using os.chdir function with the argument gdrive slash my drive. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Continue to the next cell. This cell is used to create the YOLO V8 root folder. In this example, the root folder is YOLO V8 Tensor RT. To create a folder, use this command. Exclamation mark. MKDIR. YOLO V8 Tensor RT. Run the cell by pressing the following button. After that, go to the YOLO V8 root folder using this command. Percent CD YOLO V8 Tensor RT. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Go to the next cell. This cell is used to install YOLO V8. Use this command. Percent pip install. Ultralytics. This code is used to check YOLO V8 installation. Run the cell by pressing the following button. If it looks like this, the installation was successful. To increase the speed of the YOLO V8 model, we must convert the model to the Tensor RT model. In this example, we will convert the YOLO V8 pre-trained model, which is YOLO V8X.pt.
use this command to download the model. Exclamation mark wget. The model link. Run the cell by pressing the following button. When download is finished, it will be saved in the root folder. Go to the next cell. This cell is used to install TensorRT. Use this command. Exclamation mark tip install. TensorRT. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Wait until the installation is finished. If it looks like this, the installation was successful. Go to the next cell. This cell is used to install TensorRT Lean. TensorRT Lean is used to eliminate unnecessary or redundant computations in the model inference process. Use this command. Exclamation mark pip install. TensorRT Lean. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Go to the next cell. This cell is used to install TensorRT Dispatch. TensorRT Dispatch is used to efficiently manage the execution order of computing operations in the model based on dependencies and dependencies between layers. Use this command, exclamation mark, pip install, TensorRT Dispatch. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Continue to the next cell. This cell is used to install ONNX. ONNX is required because the YOLO V8 model will be converted to the ONNX model first before conversion to TensorRT. Use this command. Exclamation mark, pip install. ONNX, ONNX sim. ONNX runtime GPU. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Go to the next cell. This cell is used to check the TensorRT installation. Run the cell by pressing the following button. If the version appears, TensorRT is already installed. Next, we will convert the YOLO V8 model to the TensorRT model. You can use your own model that has previously been trained with a custom dataset. In this example, we will convert the YOLO V8X model. Use this command. Exclamation mark. YOLO export. On the model, write YOLO V8X.pt. On the format, write engine. Because we will convert to TensorRT. Write half equals true to support half precision floating point. Write device equals zero because the GPU is required for the conversion to the TensorRT model. Run the cell by pressing the following button. As previously explained, the YOLO V8 model will be converted to ONNX first. Wait until the conversion is finished. When finished, the converted model will have the engine extension. Next, we will compare the performance of the YOLO V8 model and the TensorRT model. First, we will perform inference or detection in the image. This code cell is used to detect objects in the image using the YOLO V8 model. Use this command. Exclamation mark. YOLO detect predict. On the model, write YOLO V8X.pt. On the source, we will use a sample image from YOLO V8, which is the bus.jpg. Write device equals zero. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Here are the detection results. There are five person objects, one bicycle object, and one bus object. And it takes 90 milliseconds for the detection process. 
Next, we will detect objects in the image using the TensorRT model. Use this command. Exclamation mark YOLO detect predict. On the model, write YOLO v8x.engine. On the source, we will use a sample image from YOLO v8, which is the bus.jpg. Write device equals zero. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Here are the detection results. There are four person objects, one bicycle object, and one bus object. And it takes 25.2 milliseconds for the detection process. There is a huge improvement over the YOLO V8 model. Next, we will display the two detection results to compare visually. First, from PIL, import image. From a Python dot display, import display. After that, open the image using image.open function. In image 1, we will open the image of the YOLO V8 model detection result. Write the image path as an argument. In this example in runs, detect, predict, was .jpg. In image 2, write the image path of the TensorRT model detection result. In this example in runs, detect, predict 2, was .jpg. Next, this program code is used to get the width and height values of the image. Following that, the width and height values will be divided by 2 because the image will be resized to half its original size. Then, resize the image with the image.resize function. So image with display function. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Here are the results. The YOLO V8 model detected one bicycle object, one bus object, and five person objects. Whereas TensorRT model detected one bicycle object, one bus object, and four person objects. In this image, there is incorrect detection result from the YOLO V8 model, which are two bounding boxes on one object. In this image, the detection results of the TensorRT model are more accurate than the YOLO V8 model. But is the TensorRT model truly more accurate than the YOLO V8 model? We will try to calculate the mean average precision using 128 images from the COCO dataset. First, we will calculate the mean average precision of YOLO V8 model. Use this command. Exclamation mark, YOLO detect fail. On the model, write YOLO v8x.pt. On the data, write COCO 128.yaml. Because we will use 128 images from COCO dataset. On IOU, I use 0 0.5. On image size, I use 640. I write YOLO v8x on the name. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Wait until the MOP calculation is finished. Here are the results. In this example, the MOP value for all classes is 0 0.827. Next, we will calculate the mean average precision of TensorRT model. Use this command, exclamation mark, YOLO detect fail. On the model, write YOLO v8x.engine. On the data, write COCO 128.yaml. On IOU, I use 0 0.5. On image size, I use 640. I write YOLO v8x, TensorRT on the name. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Wait until the MOP calculation is finished. Here are the results. In this example, the MOP value for all classes is 0 0.818. The MOP decreased by 0 0.009. 
After that, go to the Inference on Video section. In this section, we will detect objects on the video using the YOLO V8 model and the TensorRT model. Following that, we will compare the detection results. Go to this cell. This cell is used to download Python modules required for the detection process. The link is available in the resource section. Use this command. Exclamation mark GDAL. Then the file link. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Modules are stored in the modules.zip file. In the next cell, we will unzip the file. Use this command to unzip the file. Exclamation mark. Unzip. Modules.zip. Run the cell by pressing the following button. There are two modules. The auto backend module is used to load TensorRT model. This module is adapted from the YOLO V8 source code. Then there is the utils module. In this module, there are several functions that will be used, such as the function to draw the detection result to the image. Go to the next cell. This cell is used to create the inference folder. The inference folder is used to store images and videos to be detected. Use this command. Exclamation mark. MKDIR inference. Run the cell by pressing the following button. To run detection, I have provided the video. This cell code is used to download the video. The video link is available in the resource section. Use this command to download the video. Exclamation mark GDOWN. Then the video link. Run the cell by pressing the following button. The video is raw.mp4. After that, move the video to the inference folder. Use the command exclamation mark mv road.mp4 inference run the cell by pressing the following button go to the next cell in this cell i have written some program code that detects objects in the video and saves the detection results as a video the frame rate of the video will correspond to the average FPS in the detection process. First, we import some of the required libraries. Import Torch. This library is used because the YOLO V8 model is based on PyTorch. Import CV2. This library is used to process videos. Import Render. This library will be used to randomize the RGB values for the bonding box colors. Import Time. This library is used to get the time, which will be used for FPS calculations. Import pathlib. This library is used to get the extension of file. From Neutralytics, import YOLO. This module is used to perform object detection using YOLO. After that, import the two modules that have been downloaded, which are utils and auto backend modules. Following that, there is a TensorRT detection function. With three arguments, the TensorRT model, video source, and the image. This function is used to detect objects on the video using the TensorRT model. This program code is used to preprocess the image before detection using the preprocess function from the utils module. The image will be resized to 640 by 640, but the ratio is kept the same as the original image. This program code is used to detect objects on the image or video frame. This program code is used to apply non-maximum suppression using the post-process function from the utils module. This program code is used to get information from the detection results. List of class ID, list of confidence scores, and list of bonding boxes.
Next, there is a YOLO fiat detection function. With two arguments, the YOLO V8 model and the image. This function is used to detect objects on the video using the YOLO V8 model. This program code is used to detect objects on the image or video frame. This program code is used to get information from the detection results. The information are list of class ID, list of confidence scores, and list of bonding boxes. After that, there is a detection function with three arguments, the model path, source to be detected, and the name of the folder that stores the detection results. This function is used to detect objects in video and save the detection results as video. The function contains several lines of program code. This program code is used to get the extension of the model file. This extension determines if the model is a tensor RT or a YOLO V8 model. Next, there is condition for checking the file extension. If the extension is .engine, which means it is a tensor RT model, the auto backend module will be used to initialize the tensor RT model. If not, it will initialize the YOLO V8 model using the YOLO module. This program code is used to get the class name list of the YOLO V8 model. This program code is used to create a list containing the colors for each class. The color values are randomized using the random library. This program code is to initialize several variables used for FPS calculations. Next, create a video capture object and read from source file using this code. This program code is used to get information from video, which are the total frame, width, and height. This variable is used to store the detected frames. I use while loop to access all frames of the video. Each iteration will open one frame at a time using the read function and will be stored in the frame variable. This program code is used to record the time before the object detection process. Next, there is condition to determine the detection process. If the tensor RT model is used, the detection process will use the tensor RT detection function. If it is a YOLO V8 model, it will use the YOLO V8 detection function. This program code is used to pack the list class ID, list of confidence scores, and list of bonding boxes into one list variable, which is detection output. This program code is used to draw the detection results on the frame using the draw box function from utils module. After the object detection process, record the time using this program code. This program code is used to calculate FPS and average FPS. This program code is used to write the average FPS on the frame using the draw FPS function from utils module. This program code is used to add the detected frames to the video frames variable. This program code is used to get the file name using the get name function from utils module. This program code is used to get the path that saves the detection result. Create a video writer object which will be used to create videos using this program code. The video frame rate that will be made is in accordance with the average FPS during the object detection process. This program code is used to write all detected frames into a video. When everything done, release the video writer object. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Next, I will detect object on video using the YOLO V8 and Tensor RT model. First, I use the YOLO V8 model. Use the detection function to perform object detection. The model used is YOLO V8X.pt. The video that will be used is ROW and P4, which was downloaded in the previous video. Detection results will be stored in the detection YOLO V8 folder. Run the cell by pressing the following button. 
wait until the detection process is finished. The detection results will be stored in the following folder. Next, download the detection results using this code cell. Copy the file path by blocking like this. Then press Ctrl C. Paste in the files download function as an argument. Press Ctrl V. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Wait until the download process is finished. Next, use the TensorRT model. Use the detection function. The model used is YOLO VATX.engine. The video that will be used is RAW and P4. Detection results will be stored in the detection folder. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Wait until the detection process is finished. The detection results will be stored in the following folder. Next, download the detection results using this code cell. Copy the file path by blocking like this. Then press Ctrl C. Paste in the files download function as an argument. Press Ctrl V. Run the cell by pressing the following button. Wait until the download process is finished. Following that, we will look at the comparison of the results. Here's a comparison of speed. In this video, the YOLO V8 model gets an average FPS of 21, whereas the TensorRT model gets an average FPS of 49. There is an increase in speed more than two times. And here's a comparison of the accuracy. The results of object detection using the YOLO V8 and TensorRT models are relatively the same. The difference is only in the confidence score. Using TensorRT, we can increase the speed of the model more than two times with a very little decrease of accuracy. That's all the explanation about TensorRT. Eager to know how to greatly improve speed and accuracy by modifying your Lofi 8 architecture? Click the link in the description.